I went to school when I was exactly four years old. On your birthday, that time you went to school. So there was no intake in like there is today that people start, you know, in September. You went the day you were four years old. The first thing you got when you went was the master, who happened to be my father, gave you a sixpence. So every new kid that went into the school got sixpence. In our day, it was probably less earlier, but he used to give sixpence. So that, so kind of, that kind of softened us a bit for going. Do you know what I mean? And the old school was, it was very, very old. It was a two-storey school. So you went in the gate of the school and to the left-hand side was the playground and everything for the girls and to the right-hand side was the playground for the boys and they never mixed. And where was the school located? This was the school is located where the hall is in the scanner today. So you went in, so if you, you went in the school and there was a, there was a, a porch downstairs and that's where all the, ne the, the neonans and the ones up to... Uh, you had baby infants, high infants, a first class in one room. And then you had second and third in the other room. And then upstairs you had all the rest of them. And you see, that time, a lot of kids didn't go, away, go to school after national school. You have to remember, this is 1952, we're talking about onwards. So people stayed in school until they had to leave, which was... I don't know whether it was, I think it was 14 that time. I think they raised the age afterwards. So you'd have very big men there at school, kind of, big boys. And so the, so they never, a lot of them never went to Innistimon or anything to school. They just stayed there and then went off to England or America. But as, a, as, an, as an infant, you went in and the, and the infant's room was on the right-hand side and then the, the, the more senior classes were on the left-hand side. And both rooms, and you, you come up on, both rooms had fires so it was heated by turf and everybody brought a sort of turf to school. Well, not everybody, but the ones that had a lot of turf and had bogs. So that's how you started. And then upstairs, the upstairs was the same size as the two downstairs rooms and the master was upstairs. And so he had all the big people upstairs and everybody went upstairs for lunch every day. So upstairs there was a range, and then there was a big pot on it, with, and, and there was, that water was boiled, and there was cocoa made every day. So when you went to school, you brought your thing of cocoa, and you brought your, it was either a tin mug or an enamel mug, and then the master made that. And you could have, you could have maybe a HB sauce bottle with milk in it, and then you'd bring your lunch. And there was no breaks for lunch or for things in the morning like, you know, there was no hot drinks or anything at 11 o'clock. There was one meal a day and you brought it all with you. And, if, and once you'd finished and you had washed your mug, then you all went outside and played. And the kid boys went to one side and the girls went to another. And how you got upstairs was there was a wooden, uh, a stone staircase up on the outside. So it wasn't in bad weather now you go up and you'd be all wet by the time you get up to have your lunch. And then the toilet facilities in this school was there were there was an outside toilet on either side for the boys and girls, and my father every weekend he used to tear up the papers and cut them to a certain size and put a hole in them with an awl and 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 uh, thread a bit of twine through them and hang them up there, and those toilets used to be uh, whitewashed every now and again, but there was no other there was no washing of your hands or anything like that. And we were never sick. We were the healthiest children, I think. And a lot of children that came to school wouldn't have had shoes, or they'd bring shoes to wear at school, but they'd walk without them because people were very poor and they were coming down from Behin way up that way. And there were a hundred kids in school when I was there. And there were still schools in St Bridget's was still there, My Moor, Ballycotton, all those schools were still alive and active that time. And there were still a hundred kids in the Scanner School. So it was, there was a, a very, more of a population, a lot more kids and families. I mean, a lot of the children in our school, there were between 10 and 13 in the families. And everybody went to school and everybody was fed. None of us, I don't believe, looked undernourished from the pictures I see. But everybody.